Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review. Thanks for watching, this time with another interesting Oberf Kringfisches piece. This one is from Brauerei Liebert, located in Hallondorf. And um, it has been catching my interest for a long time. Um, classical look of this Euro bottle, so called Euro bottle. And the front label looks like this. I always enjoy when it's a picture of this brewery, like it is in this case. As you can see, and the uh, Liebert, and it says Pils right here, and the uh, top cap Privat Brauerei. And uh, yeah, looks really interesting to me. At least, of course, Hallondorf is a town where are telling a few breweries, uh, for example, uh, Rittmeier. I'll have one other from this brewery that I'm gonna review in the future that looks like this, and it's as you can see, Lager beer and 5.0 at that one. I think this one is 4.8 at this Pils, which is uh, something like that uh, is very typical for the style that uh, alcohol content. And uh, I really go forward to it a lot because I've heard that it has this strong hops taste, which I really, really like from Pils. So, first of all, some uh, information from a Beer Wanderers website. Uh, Forsheimer Straße 2 um, closed during the Beer Keller season, so visit the Liebert Dorf Keller, Begonsheim Station. Output 2000 hectoliters. I have always liked the Liebert Keller uh, on the Kreuzberg and their tasty Keller beer, but I've not been able to try the actual brew pub. It's got a fairly complicated opening hours and it isn't open at all in the warmer month due to the Birkelo season. I made a special point to visit uh, on Friday prior to Good Friday and I was glad I did it. The interior was cozy and service was friendly. Um, I got here on an early bus and figured it would be busy. I was, it was fairly empty when I got there but it soon was very packed. The special that day was cup and every day everyone was eating it so I joined right in it was quite good and their killer beer was excellent as usual. It was nice to have it in uh, glass so I could see its color. And um, at Kello it's always in a ceramic mug. Uh, they also had a lager beer in bottle and thought, uh, and though they serve uh, told me hard uh, anyone ever, ever ordered it, I was surprised to have me uh, do it uh, anyway. I liked it too. It surely has a filtered version of the killer beer, but. Uh, Still has a slightly different taste. It's fairly easy to get a off by bus from Forsheim, and I think I'll be back at this little brew pub for cup again next time. I'll drink the Kellobir or uh, like everyone else. So this one is not the Kellobir and not the Lager beer, but the Pils. And uh, of course, I'm gonna read through the uh, information from the book right here, which says, Well, I leave it. Uh, as you can see, here is the look of the brewery and the information says uh, founded 1679 Brauer Christian Volkmut output 2100 hectoliters mit zwei Bierkellern gesegnet mit stolz blickt man bei der Brauerei Liebert auf die Jahrhunderte andauernde Historie zurück 1679 erteilte Fürstbischof Johann Philipp von Dernbach mit Metzger und Landwirt Johann Georg Schöner in Hallendorf das Braurecht. Eine seiner vier Töchter, Anna Katharina, heiratete Kaspar Liebert, einen Bäcker und Wirtssohn aus Schlammersdorf. Seitdem wird die Brauer unter dem Namen Liebert geführt. Johann Michael Liebert erlaub, äh, erbaute 1785 für die Bierlagerung seinen Sandsteinkeller in der Seisengasse. Er dient heute als Bierausschank für den Liebert Dorfkeller. Sohn Friedrich Liebert schuf 1795 am Kreuzberg unterhalb der Kreuzbergkirche einen weiteren Felsenkeller zur Bierlagerung. Auch dort bekommen die Gäste heute das süffische Liebert Kellerbier frisch vom Fass gesapft. Ähm, Bier types Pils, Lagerbier und Kellerbier. Ähm, drei Wirtschaften in einer. So könnte man für verschiedenen Lokalitäten der Liebert zusammenfassen. 
Schließlich gibt es neben dem Brauereigasthof vor allem für seine Karpfen und Eis und eigener Aufsuch bekannt. Auch der, der Dorfkeller am Ortsrand und auch den Bierkeller am der Hallendorfer Kreuzberg. Dieser heilige Hügel erlebte zu seiner früheren Blühezeit über äh, von die Wallfahrten pro Tag. Heute pilgern an schönen Tagen hunderte Bierkellerfans auf die drei Bierkellern am Berg, wobei die Kreuzbergkapelle immer noch äh, ein sehr beliebter Ort für äh, Hochzeiten gelieb gebeliebten ist. Uns äh, begeistern die dürftigen Brotzeiten, die warme Küche und von allem die feinen selbstgebackenen Kuschen und Karpfen. Ah, sounds very nice, of course. And I'm gonna show you my other book as well, which looks like this. And uh, the information about this brewer right here, Liebert. This is a brewer right here, very small looking one, and the location. And it says, um, founded 1679, uh, mostly drunken is Pils. They also have a lager. According to this book, uh, annual output is 2000 hectoliters. Brauerei Gustav Liebert, Dorfkeller Liebert, and Kreuzberg, Keller in Kreuzberg. Um, and uh, it was a name of the brewer here also, which I should mention, Christian Volkmut, just as the other book was saying. So, final over to the tasting part, I believe. Oh, this is one. Well, let's look at the label of Brauerei Liebert. Uh, I've been working in Bayern since 1679. Brauerei Liebert in Birland, Oberfranken, 91352 Hallondorf, telephone number 09545558. Zutaten, Wasser, Gras und Malz, Hopfen. Ja, das wird Success. So, let's open up the bottle to begin with. Like that. And pour it up using this. The right glass, of course, which I think fits beer style, really nice. Um, like that, giving it the beautiful, maybe blurry finger, quite thick from crown, and quite cloudy for being a pill. It's quite a surprise that you see that it's very 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 small many small uh, bubbles and a very thick white foam crown as well extremely thick white foam crown and the golden color of it also so that's do like that and get the aroma quite quick which is fresh of course easy to feel that it's a pills is to feel that strong, dry, uh, grass, hops, bitterness, high expectations of Liebert pills. So, post. Yep. Of course, it's a pills, you know, this very. Um, as I think from some Franconian pills uh, taste sour hops bitterness that is that is very uh, very pleasant and very easy to like very likable um, taste of it in in this uh, pills and you see still the uh, compact white format which is in my opinion very important to keep all the way through because. It um, it doesn't only show quality, but also um, keeps the right taste in the glass, as I said. Uh, so this one, not only the label is looking nice, but also it tastes really nice. So it's a big recommendation, as you can see. A great one. Mm. Doesn't disappoint me at all for being uh, this. Liebert uh, Pils. Yep. And 
no. Of course, you can only look forward to um, to this one right here. The La Bourbier from the same brewery. Uh, this lower label is looking exactly the same, but uh, Lager beer comparing to pills could be an interesting uh, interesting thing to, to compare. Um, seems like two beer styles quite close to each other since pills is a kind of lager, but uh, in this case, of course, the pills is having a stronger hops taste. Um, even though I have been, haven't been trying the, the lager yet, um, I can be sure that that's the main difference regarding the taste. Um, but this one doesn't disappoint at all. Very nice in its uh, in its taste, well balanced, and of course the hops taste, which is uh, actually is really nice. So, for me, big recommendation to Liebert Hallondorf Pils. Yeah, that's it. With that said, hope you um, like my reviews, that you continue to follow my channel for more interesting Franconi beer reviews, and see you again in the next Franconi beer review.